With Caitlin Armstrong escaped to another country, she tried changing her identity. She even attempted escaping from jail. But in the end, prison is where she's going to spend the rest of her life. She was sentenced to close to a century behind bars. Hello, family. Welcome back to another episode of Journey to Harmony. I'm your host, Richard Harmon. Today, I want to talk to you about a a, a romantic triangle going wrong. So um, in this story, a young lady who is a yoga instructor um, was involved with a professional cyclist. And, you know, they're dating, everything is going well. And then eventually the cyclist ends up finding another romantic relationship with someone who was in his profession, um, a, a cyclist as well. And the young lady who is on trial, again, Caitlin Armstrong, ends up deleting the person who that was having a, a relation with her, her boyfriend at the time. Um, she goes, gets up and she goes around and tries to flee from the um, from the law and ends up getting caught and getting sentenced. I'm going to play a video, we'll watch a little bit of this, come back and go from there. This court hereby sentences you to... This nine. morning, former yoga years. teacher Caitlin Armstrong sentenced in a Texas courtroom to 90 years in prison for murdering professional cyclist Anna Mariah Mo Wilson, a woman she believed was romantically linked to her then-boyfriend, Colin Strickland. We, the jury, find the defendant, Caitlin Armstrong, guilty of the... Office. After the judge handed down the guilty verdict on Thursday, Karen Wilson testifying in the sentencing phase about the impact of her daughter's death. When you shot Mariah in the heart, you shot me in my heart. In a trial that lasted for three weeks, state prosecutors painted a disturbing portrait of Armstrong, who shot Wilson in the head and chest in a jealous rage in May of 2022. The last thing Mo did on this earth was scream in terror. Those screams are followed by... Armstrong's vehicle was captured on video near the scene of the murder. She fled to Costa Rica, even getting plastic surgery to evade authorities. Never seen so much evidence in my life against one person. The jury taking less than three hours to return their verdict after prosecutors proved Armstrong ambushed and killed Wilson. The Wilson family walking arm in arm outside the Austin courtroom on Friday, relieved that justice had been served. Selfish manipulation, jealousy, and hatred never lead to positive outcomes. And this was an incredibly emotional trial. Prosecutors at one point bringing up Wilson's close friend who found her body. She said she tried as hard as she could to revive her. Wilson's loved ones inconsolable throughout, making a very strong case for that verdict and the sentencing. All right, family, once again, that's a very sad story, but one that is told seems too often. Um, I'm someone who is of the mindset to give that we shouldn't be having um, intimate relationships with people who we're not married to. So once again, you see here, um, this person, uh, Caitlin, in particular, she she was in love with someone and the person ends up going off and finding another person uh, that they're interested in. And the person decides and she decides to go ahead and delete the person that that she was in a relationship with um this this young woman you know she there's many of men around the world there's many people all around she's going to spend the rest of her life behind bars because she got upset about someone um taking something that didn't belong to her and unfortunately we see this with many many people um you spend your whole life living and then you make a terrible decision she ends up flee in the country um as bad as the incident was i think that the charges added become even greater she, she skipped out on the country which is evading an arrest um changes her her you know her look all of these different things become added charges on top of that and eventually because of the situation the notoriety of the overall individual who was a prodigy at cycling um, you get a very harsh sentencing as a result of it um, this is an interesting time frame right now when a lot of people are searching for love um, more people are using the dating apps and different options like that. And unfortunately, what's happening is that people are in relationships with multiple people at a time. Um, I remember one time I was dating, I was, uh, you know, I just arrived back from, I was in um, Arizona for a while. I arrived back in, um, in Georgia, um, go to a party and somebody is there and they're like, hey, you know, why don't you speak to this person? So I'm like, hey, you know, how you doing this? She's like, cool, I'm doing well. I'm like, are you seeing anyone? She's just like, whoa, that's a question that's, you know, you should wait a little bit longer before you ask me. And I'm like, I should wait three months to ask you if you're in a relationship with someone else. I told her immediately, I was like, okay, thank you so much for your time. I think I'm gonna go and talk to my brother, you know, over there for a little bit. And I kind of ended that relationship. 
Um, flee from from these issues, guys. Like it's it's not worth your time. Uh, people who are playing games, people who are who are cagey in different situations, there can get you definitely caught up in a means that is not needed for your life. Um, these relationships, a lot of times, are, are with people who are not interested in you as an individual. Um, this young lady again is getting ready to, to to spend the rest of her life behind bars um, over a relationship with someone who was really not that interested in her. Another young lady, is, her life is gone. Her family is left to pick up the pieces as a result of the overall decision making. Um, dating is very hard right now, and a lot of people, as I, I did in a previous video, you know, saying that that young men are not dating. Um, it is is a strange time right now as we're all just kind of trying to figure out different things. Um, we're a lot different than where we were in the 60s and the 70s. And uh, the, the, the desires of people right now as things are getting harder are to, to find someone who they can mate with, but also someone who sometimes they can use for um, for financial gain. Uh, being careful and making sure you're, you're meeting with the right people. Uh, no, as me as a believer, I, we, we, we believe in prayer. We believe in in finding um, someone who is compatible with us. Um, people say opposites attract, yeah, but but people who are similar stay together. You know, what I mean, so it, it's very difficult to, to. The Bible says that how can two walk together unless they agree, and that can be a very strong issue a lot of times. So while you may attract because you're opposites, you'll stay in the same space a lot of time because you share very common interests and common desires. Um, what are your thoughts on this? Um, do you have any particular sympathies or any stories of the like? Have you been any, into any kind of circumstances where you were forced into a bad uh, relationship or you, you tried your best to get away? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. If it's your first time joining, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much and have a good day.